It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie de Baston and it's a bottle of the Ardeen Stout coming in at 8% ABV. Wild Boar Spirit. Brewed with Wild Boar Spirit, it says on the side of the label. Let's get this bottle cap around the right way around. There we go. Should we get the beer out into a glass and see what we get? So 8%, so Imperial Strength Stout, 330 bottle, nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass there, oh listen to that glug, that glug for me indicates a really nice mouth feel to the beer, good levels of carbonation, we got a two finger tan coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass. Should we get the aroma? Oh, wait a moment. Look as I rock the beer back and forth. You can see the body in the beer. By rocking it back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head side to side. Here we go, aroma. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Hazelnut, nuts, maybe some green peanut. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. It's a bit vinous. It's a touch smoked. There's some caramel, some vanilla. This smells incredible. At this stage of the beer review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe, Dot .co.uk. The largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. Beersofeurope.co.uk, check out the link in the description box of the video. Let's dive into this beautiful, beautiful smelling beer. Wow. Wow, 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 I got to put that down. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what an absolutely terrific, terrific stout. When I pulled this beer from Beers of Europe's website, when I went, I want that stout, it looks a good stout. Didn't look really at the detail, didn't realise it was 8% ABV. So glad it is, so glad it is. One of the first Imperial Stouts I've had, they're not many from Belgium. This is a real corker. If you think about traditional Belgian brewing, their practices, how much effort they put into their beer, their beer is their love in Belgium. And then think about how they would make an Imperial Stout, how good they would make an Imperial Stout. Here it is in the glass. Let's pick it back up then. The mouthfeel is absolutely incredible. Thick, rich, bold, depth to it. A little bit of burnt toffee on the back end, mixed with some nice caramel, chocolate, bitter chocolate, a little bit of smokiness coming through, some definite kind of cappuccino, coffee bean coffee flavours coming through. Mixed with that wonderful mouthfeel, it's just terrific. On the back end, you have a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of coconut, and maybe a little bit of plum, prune, a little bit of vinous qualities on the back end. This is absolutely terrific. It is an absolutely terrific, terrific, I'm gonna call it, as it is, an Imperial Stout from Belgium. Uh, roasted spelt, roasted malt, mosaic, Belgian goldens, and halatau. Uh, it's won some awards. This it won the God Medbrow Beer Stout in 2016. The labels, the the the, the writing on the labels are so small. It's very difficult to. Perhaps I need some glasses finally reached the, the ripe old age of nearly 39, nearly 40, 
and I still don't wear glasses, but perhaps I need some now. Um, Brussels Beer Challenge 2014. I think that's a, a gold medal. And the Belgian Beer of Wallonia. It's won. What a terrific stout. A terrific Imperial stout at that 8% ABV. Is there any more? I don't want to waste a drop of this. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful beer. It's the it's the hops as well that's making the beer. The hot presence, it's giving it a different dimension, a different edge. Mosaic. Mosaic hops used in this beer. Lovely fruitiness coming through. I'm going to rate this. Uh, this is one of the best Imperial Stouts that I have drunk all year. This really is Ardine Stout by, what do we call them? Brasserie de Baston. I love that name. 8% ABV, absolutely terrific beer. I, there's so much flavour in this beer, there's so much going on. I can't take anything from it. It's just so vinous and, and, and luscious and the mouthfeel is terrific. Vanilla, touch of coconut, maybe a touch of cinnamon, chocolate, coffee, caramel, little bit of smoke. Tremendous beer, 10 out of 10. Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.